So I just made the drive to Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. Pittsburgh is the most northern town in New Hampshire, I believe. Population 800 and something. And yeah, three and a half hours to get here one way. It was beautiful. Today is actually October 11th, so this is foliage season. I was a little worried that I was going to be past peak foliage and the views and the drive weren't going to be that great, but I was actually really impressed. New Hampshire is always beautiful any time of the year, but definitely it really shines in October. So the reason I drove three and a half hours <laughs> to come here today is to do this hike that's been on my mind for a while. It's called Mount McGalloway. There's a fire tower. This hike is actually only two miles, so I am for sure spending more time in my car today than I am on the trail, but I'm super excited. I get to cross this hike off my 52 with a view list. I get to drive to a part of the state I've never been to before and see some cool foliage. So I'm excited for this. We'll spend a little afternoon up in northern New Hampshire and I'm excited to take you along. It is in the 40s today and drizzling a little bit, but not too bad. Some clouds, but I am feeling hopeful that we will get a view at the top. And it looks like I could do this hike as a loop. So I am taking the Coot Trail up and possibly the Bobcat Trail down. So no real reasoning into why I did that. I just kind of picked a trail up, but it should be gorgeous either way. I just started my activity on my Koro's Apex Pro 2 watch. I always use this to track my hikes and the tracks I do automatically get put into my Strava account, which is nice. And I try to always link my Strava in the description of the video so that you can go and see my exact route, how long it took me, how, I don't know, all the little stats that Strava and Koro's gives you. I, I love looking at that, so that's there if you want to check that out. Whew. I think I underestimated how steep this hike was going to be. It is just whew, straight uphill, but it's going by quick. I feel like I definitely overestimated the amount of layers I needed. I am sweating. I am out of breath but I feel like I'm almost there, getting close to the top. I made it to the summit in just under 30 minutes, so that was a quick one. I think I am going to go ahead and climb the fire tower, but I saw a sign that said overlook with an arrow, so I took a little side trail first, and this is the view of the overlook. So I feel like it's pretty obvious <laughs> that you can tell that I have a cold right now. So it was a little bit of a struggle climbing up this mountain, but I made it. But because of this cold, I figured it was pretty relevant that I talk about Element and all the benefits it has on our immune system. So you know the three main ingredients of Element, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. I was reading on the website this morning that each of those ingredients individually have really positive effects on our immune system. I made my Element drink mix this morning. I chose the grapefruit flavor and I'm gonna drink the whole thing while I'm up here because to overcome sickness and colds, it's really important that you have the electrolytes that your body needs to recover. So I am staying hydrated today with my Element. If you want to be prepared for cold season this year, you can pick up some Element drink mixes for yourself. You can use my link, which is drinkelement.com slash Nahampshire. That way, with any purchase on their website, you can get a free sample pack with eight of their flavors. Again, that's drinkelement.com slash Nahampshire. You can pick up your free sample pack with your purchase, and you can also read a lot of helpful articles from the professionals that put this science-backed formula together. It was a really interesting read this morning.
Oop. Little bits of views past all the fog. Alright, it is pretty cold and windy up here, to be honest. So I'm already on my way back down. It Climbing up to the top of the fire tower, I didn't realize how windy it was today. Um, it was really windy up there and cold, and I was kind of looking forward to flying my drone, but because of the wind and the fact that there's not many views and I'm kind of still new to it, I'm just going to play it safe. Maybe if I go a little further down the mountain to the other lookout, that area will be a little more blocked from the wind and I can fly it safely there. So I'm going to try that out. I feel like there is some hope because I can see really far in this direction. And like I said, I took the coot trail up, so I'm gonna turn right here and take the bobcat trail down. This lookout, much better. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. A little zoom in on the foliage. Hiking in the fall is beautiful, but it's always a little scary to descending mountains with wet, slippery leaves. But making my way down. Just like that, my two mile loop hike of Mount McGalloway is done. And I'm hanging in there. Whew.